Dominu. Waited for other French words to come, but I wasn't inspired because I don't speak the language. This is Beer Before Liquor. I'm Big Bad Larry, and we are gonna do another French-inspired drink today. Today, we're gonna make a drink called a bijou. Am I saying that right? Am I saying it with the proper attitude? Bijou. Anyway, it means jewel in French, uh, and it is a gin-based drink, and it's named bijou because the man who invented it, Harry Johnson, Harry Johnson. Anyway, Harry Johnson's Bartender's Guide, 1900, that's the first time it appears, and he named it a bijou because the three main ingredients he thought all had hues that resembled jewels. So gin, diamond, sweet vermouth, ruby, and green chartreuse, emerald. Fun, it's a fun idea. Uh, I'm sure Harry Johnson was a character. <laughs> I'm sure he had defining characteristics. <laughs> Harry Johnson, thanks so much for this. Uh, you're a real one, hope you're doing well. He's dead. Um, so let's make it. Three quarter of an ounce of green chartreuse. And we will link in the description to our other series, Sip and Shots, where we've talked about a possible substitute for green chartreuse because it is hard to find right now. Fache Bruto Chenterbe, which is a, a lovely product. We'll do uh, three quarter ounces of the Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth. You can use any Sweet Vermouth. It's up to you but I like this one the most, and so I'm using it. And then this is gonna be an ounce and a half of Plymouth Gin. Again, you can use whatever gin floats your boat. I think personally using a more floral gin, like a, a newer American gin like Dorothy Parker, or like, or, or say using the Botanist, which is a Scottish Islay gin, I think those are gonna be a little too floral for me for this. I want something a little drier, so you can use a London Dry, like Tank, or like, uh, Beef Eater, Gordon's, but I like Plymouth because it sits middle of the road. So that's my opinion. And I think that you care a little bit because you did click play. Then two dashes of the Reagan's Orange Bitters. We're gonna put some ice in there. Put the ice in last so you're controlling the dilution of the drink as much as possible. I'm gonna use my bar spoon. Um, it's long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't do it. All right. So now we're gonna use our bar spoon and stir. If you don't have a bar spoon, if you don't have something, you know, resembling this, um, you can use like a, a table knife. Cause all you wanna do really with this, do it on the sides and move the ice. You can use a teaspoon if you're not, if you're careful not to chip. You won't be able to twist it like this without the small cylindrical shaft, Harry Johnson. Um, but like, I think uh, you could use a, a knife. You could use a teaspoon in, in a pinch, no problem. But I think for the best results, you want something that's a little thinner, that's not going to like agitate the ice too much in the stir. Otherwise, you know, you're losing a little bit of the reason why we stir, which is to not disturb the ice all too much. So there you go. Um, this is gonna be served up. Um, I'm not gonna use the double strainer because uh, we haven't used any juice. Um, it's gonna be clean no matter what. So right into the coop, we go. That's a lovely color. Amber. Amber is the color of your energy. That's also written by Harry Johnson. And we're just gonna do a little lemon peel. Put the skin side out and crush it down and that way you get all the oils onto the surface of the drink and you make it very fragrant. And oh man, all you can smell is lemon oil now, it's very nice. All right, there we go, a bijou. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? We're gonna chug it, but before that, it's time to toast. And today we're gonna toast um, we're gonna take a cue from the shirt and toast to everyone who's never gone into a bar and asked for a song. You know, when you're working at a bar, one of the only things you can control is uh, the music. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes people give you just a, you just have a playlist that you have to play. But if you work at a cool place, you usually get to pick the music. And don't ask people for Wagon Wheel. Uh, that, hap that happens to me. Dude, cameraman Peter laughed. That happens to me all the time. Don't ask for music, don't do it. Especially if someone's if someone's playing like a specific genre of music, like if you walk into a bar and it's hip hop playing, or if you walk into a bar and it's classic rock playing, don't be like, can you play Taylor Swift? Just don't. Taylor Swift's great, it's not, no, no, I mean, for some people. Uh, it's not a knock on them. It's just, you know, don't do it. You can listen to that on another time. So go in, don't request songs. Um, 
be nice. Thanks to Harry Johnson for this uh, and uh, and, uh, and many other things. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. All right. Uh, so yeah, don't request songs. Um, uh, thanks to Harry Johnson for the Bijou. Uh, it looks beautiful. We're going to drink it right now and pray for the beer. Wow, great drink. Uh, Bijou, you guys should make it. Uh, more bars should make it. I think uh, it's uh, a lovely classic that's so delicious and so unique. So uh, here we go, boom, boom, another one in the books. Thanks everybody for showing up. Thanks to Harry Johnson and his jewels. <laughs> Harry Johnson and his jewels. That's so good. Uh, I don't want people to think of me as some cheap humorist. But when you're presented with a man who wrote a cocktail book and his name is Harry Johnson, what is one supposed to do?